and it's not a game, it's not a strategy, you're giving her silence and you mean it. You're moving on. You're not giving her silence, but then really looking at your phone every goddamn hour to see if she texts you back. Do you wanna know why she's not texting you back, fellas? Do you wanna know why she's not reaching out to you? It's because she doesn't give a fuck anymore. She doesn't like you. She has a new man in her life. So the only thing you're doing is torturing yourself by continuing to allow yourself to think about this woman and stress about this woman. So if that's what you want to do, then so be it. But don't come on here complaining all in the comments about shit that she's doing. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. Gentlemen, greetings, and welcome back to another episode. Now today, I'm gonna talk to you about why you should never take your ex back. Now fellas, I want you to do me a favor here today. I want you to take a step back, and I want you to look down at yourself from afar, from above, and take a look at your situation objectively, and ask yourself, what would you tell that person to do what would you tell yourself to do and fellas I want you to take notice on how weak you look and how lame you look and how weak you sound sitting up here trying to make plans to get your ex back to get back a woman who left you who dumped you instead of moving on and finding a new woman and fellas that's weird that is literally the definition of a scarcity mindset. This woman broke up with you and a week later she's got a new man and you're still chasing behind her. You're still wondering what she's doing, wondering what she's thinking, holding on to all her memorabilia, kissing her pillow at night. Well, I got news for you, fellas. Guess what? Are you ready for this? I'm not sure you're quite ready to hear this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. She doesn't like you anymore. She does not want you anymore. At what point are you gonna realize this and figure this out? She's not thinking about you at all. So what you're doing is you're spending all this time and energy and emotion into worried about, oh, I, I wonder what she's thinking. I don't know. Do you think she's thinking about me? Do you think if I text her, she'll text me back and she'll uh, change her mind? Fellas, this woman is enjoying her newfound life without you. And I can guarantee you she's not thinking about you, especially if she's the one who broke things off. So if you were giving yourself advice from the outside, what would you tell yourself to do? Would you tell yourself to keep chasing this woman who's made it clear she doesn't like you or want you anymore? Or would you tell yourself to move on and get over it? You're sitting up here trying to plot and plan and figure out a way to get her back instead of moving on like she has and put all that energy towards replacing her and improving yourself. Fellas, I can tell you right now that this woman doesn't want you anymore and it's highly likely that she doesn't want you because you're annoying. And the way you're acting and behaving right now is the precise reason why she doesn't want to be with you to begin with. And I know you're, you get all these warm and, 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 and cozy, cuddly feelings when you think about that little box. But guess what? You get on her nerves with your behavior. Fellas, y'all are doing all this overthinking. Oh, I wonder, oh, should I text her? Should I text her at, at six? Well, here's what I'll do. I'll text her at 6 p.m. And then if she responds within that first like 35, 45 minutes, I'll wait like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes so she doesn't think I'm too thirsty. Then I'll text her back. And then I'll say this little thing that I was gonna say. Then I'll tell her this joke. But then I'll just play it cool and I'll kind of back up and give her a little space. Then I'm gonna do the push pull. And uh, 
you know, if I just do this for like six, seven months, then I think I could maybe kind of get her back on my side and maybe she might want to be with me one day. Fellas, do you see how ridiculous that sounds? Are you even hearing yourself? This is what y'all sound like. This is what y'all sound like. And yet you think that a woman is going to be attracted to that type of behavior. You're fooling yourself. What you need to do is leave her alone and move on. I've been telling you guys on like four or five different videos. when it comes to any type of woman who has let you go, dumped you, or broken up with you, the only play is to give her ass silence, even if you want her back. And it's not a game, it's not a strategy, you're giving her silence and you mean it, you're moving on. You're not giving her silence, but then really looking at your phone every goddamn hour to see if she texts you back. Do you wanna know why she's not texting you back, fellas? Do you wanna know why she's not reaching out to you? It's because she doesn't give a fuck anymore. She doesn't like you. She has a new man in her life. So the only thing you're doing is torturing yourself by continuing to allow yourself to think about this woman and stress about this woman. So if that's what you wanna do, then so be it. But don't come on here complaining all in the comments about shit that she's doing. Because at this point it has nothing to do with her. It's all about you and what you're gonna do moving forward. Fellas, you're so stressed out, you're spending five, six, seven hours a day stressing about whether or not you should text this woman. This shit is actually quite embarrassing. It's embarrassing that this woman has you at this type of place, mentally. And then guys, when she does respond and she says something super basic like, okay, Steve, well, nice to hear from you. Have a great day. And then here you are trying to decode, trying to demystify and, and read between the lines. Oh, well, she did, uh, she did send me, I did see her, she put an exclamation point at the end of one of her sentences, so I'm pretty sure that she's still feeling me. I think she's still feeling me because uh, when she's mad or when she doesn't like me, usually she'll just, she won't give any, any exclamation points. And she gave one, so I think I still have a chance. What do you think? What do you think? I think you need to get over it and move on and stop worried about this woman who doesn't want you anymore. That's what I think. But are you gonna listen to me? Who knows? I think you'd rather just continue to torture yourself by chasing a woman who has a boyfriend one week after y'all broke up. And fellas, you know what? Women don't just all of a sudden get boyfriends one week after you broke up. It's highly likely that she's been dating this dude while she was with your ass. Fellas, I gotta be honest with y'all. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. What don't you understand about she doesn't want you anymore? Why is this so hard to grasp? I get being upset. I get being heartbroken. But those are things you need to deal with internally. You don't continue to chase a woman who doesn't want you anymore. You rely on your boys. You rely on your books. You rely on your mentor. But you gotta stop reaching out to this woman, guys. Do not text her any more text messages. There's no magic text that you can send that's going to improve your odds. Just get that out of your head right now. If this woman likes you enough, she would be with you. And it's as simple as that. Fellas, I'm telling you right now, these behaviors that you're showing, no woman is gonna wanna be with you acting that way. It's not just her. You're gonna have a hard time with any woman. You're giving off weirdo, stalker vibes, checking her stories, driving past her crib, trying to, trying to see her phone, trying to check her emails, staring at her texts. Guys, no woman wants to be with a crazy stalker guy. That woman probably fears for her life fucking with a guy like you. 
And guys, I'm not saying that you're not allowed to feel any kind of way or you're not allowed to be a little sad or down because of the end of a relationship, but you need to check your behavior and knock it off with all this stalker weirdo type behavior, guys. And you really need to reevaluate your life because every man should have the basic belief in himself that he can go out there in the world and get a new woman. It might be a little bit more difficult to replace this woman. And I've said it in previous videos, do not let the difficulty of replacing her stop you from replacing her because replacing her is the right thing to do. And fellas, if you don't feel like you can replace this woman, then being in a relationship with her, that's not the right move anyway because you've got too much work to do on yourself. You're not gonna be a good partner because you're gonna be too jealous and needy. For her, it's gonna be like dealing with a child because your mindset sucks and you have no confidence. Women don't wanna be with a man like that. Fellas, going after an ex who dumped you is like the lowest of the low. It shows a woman flat out just how much of a loser you are that you're still chasing after her even though she made it clear that she doesn't want you. In many cases, she'll be encouraging you to go out there and find a new woman because she wants to wipe her hands clean of this needy stalker guy. Fellas, I want you to do me a favor. Think about how scary it is from a woman's perspective to get caught up dealing with a guy like this, a guy who won't leave her alone. This is like a woman's worst nightmare. Do you really want to be a woman's worst nightmare? Or do you actually want her to miss you? If you want her to miss you, the best move, and I've said it time and time again, is to move on with your life and give her silence. But no, you just want to keep chasing and texting. So hey, you want to be a loser? Be a loser. And fellas, I know you've been watching Disney and you've been watching Aladdin. I can show you the world. And you think that, oh, if I just contact her one more time, just that one last text message, I think I can get her. Fellas, let me tell you something. There's zero chance of that happening. Zero. She's done with you. And the quicker you realize this, the quicker you can move on with your life and the quicker you can upgrade. Now, let's play devil's advocate here for a second. Let's play the other side. Let's say you sweat this girl for six months. You're texting her every day. And finally she says, you know what? I'm gonna come on back. She's had a full another relationship with Dirty Dick Rick for the last six months, even though you've been at the house crying, eating sunflower seeds, holding on to that necklace that she bought you two Christmases ago. But finally, you get her to come back into your life. Oh, and you're just so excited. But guess what? Do you really think that relationship is gonna last, fellas? Because you haven't changed. You haven't improved yourself. You're still the same old guy that she got annoyed by and left. So if you haven't spent that time working on yourself and improving yourself and worked on not giving off creepy stalker weirdo serial killer vibes, what makes you think she's gonna stay this time? She's gonna realize quickly that you're still annoying as fuck. And this time she's gonna leave you a lot quicker. It might only be a couple of weeks this time. But this time she's gonna block you from everything. She's gonna block your number, block you on all social medias. She's gonna change her email. She may even move states to get away from your ass because she realizes how much of a huge mistake she made by coming back. And the only reason she came back is because she was down on herself because Dirty Dick Rick did her wrong and he left her. And so she was just in a, this weird place of uh, feeling like she needed someone. That's the only reason she came back to you in the first place. She didn't come back to you because she genuinely missed you and wanted you, bro. But here's the crazy thing, fellas. Despite everything I just said and laid out in this video, some of y'all are still gonna be out there chasing your ex around. So fellas, you can continue to be a loser if you want to, but winners, we're winners over here. And winners don't chase after a loss. 
Winners move on to the next game. They're focused on the next opponent. Not sitting up here crying, worried about the last loss that happened six months ago. We're worried about trying to improve our skills, upgrade our game plan, and get the next victory on into the future. And X is an X for a reason, fellas. You need to get over it. You need to upgrade your mindset. You need to stop being so weak-minded and toughen up and fix your mentality. Because you're a sad excuse right now. The level of scarcity that you're in is actually quite embarrassing. So fellas, it's time to move on. She is not the only woman on planet Earth. So remember fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say, oh, oh.